your business is, is ensuring risk, and so you're, you're an expert on risk. So I'd like to start there with geopolitical risk. Could we hit a few of the hot spots in the world? And I'd like your, your perspective on that as someone who, who makes money ensuring risky situations. Well, you know, for a very long time now, there have been problems around the world in different places. Where do you look at now? Um, you know, if you look at these extraordinary WikiLeaks articles that have come out, have they really told us anything we didn't already know? I mean, yeah, it, to me, it was an extraordinary situation that uh, you had all these highly sensitive cables all being very neatly packaged together and put into one box. So if you managed to find the key to that box, you'd have the lot. But the reason I mention it is because they expose where some of the big areas are. Um, the biggest one, the one that seems to be getting the, the most attention, is unsurprisingly uh, Iran. Uh, and what happened there. And there you can read that uh, virtually every Arab leader was begging the United States and virtually by implication the Israelis to go in and sort this, this guy out. And of course the longer it goes on, the more dangerous it is, the more difficult it becomes. And then that links back to the other place which has suddenly flared up yet again, which is North Korea. Um, you know, have the uh, Iranians, as is suggested, got some very advanced um, missiles from North Korea, I ignoring the fact whether they were being able to make their own warheads or not. So let's take these uh, regions one at a time. First of all, does Lloyd's uh, make a business insuring on Middle Eastern risk? No. Okay, so you're... Uh, unless it just happened to be tangentially involved in mm -hmm. something, but th that's not what we're looking at. But you do have a large and growing business in Asia. We, we have a growing business in Asia. I mean, it, when you say large, our worldwide premium income is about $33, $34 billion, of which the lion's share is here in the United States. Um, Asia is the fastest growing area of the world. Our total business there is much smaller than the U.S., but the rate of growth is, of course, a lot faster. And Lloyd's has been going for 325 years, so um, we've acquired a lot from what was developed in the past. I see it as our job today to help to develop the markets of the future. And as China is already the second largest economy in the world, and in due course is almost certain to become the largest economy in the world, then it's our job to ensure that that becomes a big market for us. Um, and we're very involved there now. In financial terms, it's very small. Um, but will it become a lot larger? Yes, I'm sure it will. So how big a concern is what's going on in Korea? In other words, is this a an event that happens all, all the time where some country misbehaves and then falls into line or do we have on our hands a, a potential global crisis or, or super regional crisis? Well I think anybody who makes predictions of that nature usually falls flat on their face. Um, the simple reason is I don't know. Uh, we've had problems in the past with North Korea and they flared up and they've gone away again. This one it seems quite difficult to understand what has triggered it off. And then you read again in WikiLeaks that there was a view that China was ready to see uh, Korea reunified with the government coming from the south in Seoul. Uh, 